My name is Caitlin Rubley. I am the current Living Closer Foundation Climate and Health Science Policy Fellow and a Clinical Instructor of Emergency Medicine at the University of Colorado. I am going to share with you my experiences over the last year as a climate change fellow, working across sectors with policymakers and scientists. It all started right here in the resuscitation bay. I thought about caring for critically ill patients and all of the skills it requires. I thought about how we can translate those skills outside of the emergency department to other global health threats. For me, it was all about climate change. I saw these headlines, 800,000 people displaced from their homes secondary to floods in one capital city, emerging infectious diseases, and hospitals that couldn't even be reached secondary to extreme weather events. The health impacts were enormous. Looking at air pollution alone, 7 million people die prematurely every year. And it's the young people of today, the future physicians, who will be impacted the most. This brought me to Colorado, where I learned about partnerships between academia and policy institutes. I spoke with policymakers about what I was seeing in the emergency departments and what my patients were facing. In Washington, DC, I learned about collaborations among different agencies and departments, how they were using the most up-to-date climate science to advance community health and early warning systems. I engaged at numerous conferences with various professions. I talked about the role of education for health professionals with meteorologists. I talked about dust storms with environmental scientists, earth scientists. And in South Africa, I heard firsthand from emergency care experts about how these events were impacting their patients and their ability to provide services, things like tropical cyclones and water scarcity. In Madrid, Spain, I learned about the work of the United Nations and how small island developing states were being impacted, how coastal and pastoral communities were suffering the most. And throughout this whole time, I was reading and writing and reading and writing, and three key themes emerged for me that I think translate well to us as leaders in whatever interests us outside of emergency medicine. We are learners, we are communicators, and we are critical thinkers. As learners, we have this ability to adapt to new circumstances. Look at COVID-19, for example. None of us were taught about this in medical school, and here we are treating it on the front lines. In the same way, we can use our experiences and ability to adapt to create novel curriculum that the doctors of tomorrow need in order to successfully care for their patients and use new technology platforms to reach target audiences better than we ever have. As communicators, we see patients from all walks of life every shift in the emergency department. We understand people and their barriers to care, their preferences for communication. And this translates well with discussions of risk and consequence that impact communities and the quality of life of many people. Thirdly, we are critical thinkers. We can take something like multi-organ failure and break it down into treatable conditions, even do it in a timely manner, such as that for heat stroke. In the same way, our world is complex. It's really a vast network of opportunity and collaborations, and we can use our strengths to network across sectors to ask the right questions and be curious. I'd like to leave you with this one final thought. What would an earth scientist, a policymaker, and an emergency physician say when they look at a penny? What viewpoint would they have? And I argue this, an earth scientist looks at it and sees copper, a mineral deep beneath the earth's surface, excellent conducting properties, useful for making wire, cookware. A policymaker looks at a penny and sees this. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States, a civil rights leader, a lawyer, an advocate.
But what do we think of when we look at a penny? I propose this. We see one cent and the potential it has to grow into something of great value. Now together, all of our perspectives are necessary in order to create the kind of change that we need in this world to not only help one or two patients, but improve the health of 800,000 or 7 million patients. And we as academic physicians, we can be the leaders our patients need both inside and outside the emergency department.